Just a reminder of where they finished. 32 points behind Manchester City. By the way, they were only 32 points ahead of Cardiff City, who were relegated. Uh, of course, uh, it was uh, Jose Mourinho and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer who uh, shared the managerial duties pretty much split the season in half, didn't they? And it wasn't a huge improvement overall when you look at uh, their records, maybe slightly so in the in the final analysis for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But all this leading into what is now a crucial summer for Manchester United. Raf Honigstein with us. And Raf, our Mark Ogden writing an article earlier today on ESPN FC suggesting that Manchester United only have a war chest of about £100 million for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to spend. That would be particularly underwhelming, would it not, for Manchester United fans? It would be underwhelming, but it could also be uh, good uh, market-making by mm. not letting everyone know we are here to spend loads of money and do what you have done ever since Alex Ferguson has left, which is to overcharge us for players and make us look stupid. I mean... It's not the worst thing to tell people. Yes, I understand why fans might get upset, but putting out that message might just make it easier to get one or two deals over the line. The thing is, when we talk about 100 million, uh, the way I read it, the way I understand it, this doesn't include money that could come in from sales. Mm. And I think there is, there is a strong possibility that uh, we will see one or two very big departures. I mm. mean, I think Eva Lukaku... Or Pogba, or possibly both, will leave, and then immediately you go from 100 to 200, maybe to 250 million. So this is not the final figure. Yes, and that's an important point to know. 100 million, unless you sell one of your star players. Yeah, so but then, so you got, then you have to replace a star right. player. So say, for example, you sell De Gea, and uh, we'll, we'll leave Lukaku out as a star player. Mm. But if you were to sell De Gea, I'm just throwing that name out, and Pogba, then you've got, you've got to replace them mm. with, with better. Mm. Uh, so whether you think Pogba's been up, you know, he's still a great player. He just hasn't been as great for United. But you, you, you know, you're taking the money in, and it has to go straight back out again. So I don't know. I mean, I think early signs are a little concerning if I was a United fan mm -hmm. about what the strategy might be again. And I don't think the fact that that uh, Mr. Woodward is, looks as if he's going to be uh, have full hands on control again is going to fill in and be full of. Uh, confidence bearing in mind the way he's operated over the last, what, four mm. or five years in this market? Mm. The early signs are there's going to be a new value-driven strategy oh. by Mr Woodward. Well, that's what happened last that, Was that not happen, what happened with, like, well, yeah, the, Ivan Perisic and players like that? Yeah. Mourinho <laughs> wanted him, he said, no, he's at an age where we think they want too much, so you're not getting your... Pl and so... United are not in a position. Are they in a position? They're not in a position not in a where position they to go get... for value. Mm. Well, they are. They want all the, the well, time Daniel well, James so far. Yeah, from million. Swansea. Young, good young boy from Swansea. We can look at this two ways. Are they going to go for value? Mm. I'm sure they would like to. But guess what? They're not going to, ha they're not going to have a, an option but, but to do that. Mm. Do you think there's any real name player is going to go to Manchester United right now? Not a chance. So, actually, if you want to forget how much they've got available, who are they going to get regardless of, regardless of how much money they've got? Mm. Who with a name is going to go to Manchester United right now? Nobody. Mm. And, and if a... it is 100 million, what's that going to get you? One big name? Yeah. Or maybe two really good players? Manchester United need three quarters of a team. They don't need one superstar or two good players. So whichever way you want to look at it, they're in desperate trouble. And, and that's a critical point. The idea that, say you had all this money available, whatever money you had available, well... That's money still available to other clubs as well who are in a better position to bring players. So if Manchester City, Liverpool and Manchester United were going after the same player, where is that player going to go? Mm. Well, not Manchester United, not right now, not currently. Mm. Now, if, if you're a superstar and a true superstar, and I, this is what historically Manchester United have, have gone after, and this is what you would think a club of that history would, would go after. Well, why, why would you... In this, at this moment, pick mm. Manchester United over any of the other top teams. Mm. No, you, you wouldn't. And, oh, by the way, you're going to be the guy who's going to have to put on, the, on, on, his, on his back the sort of shoulder, on your shoulders, the weight of expectations and of this rebuilding project. With, Pogba is running far away from that idea. He's saying, look, I don't want any part of this rebuild. Why would a superstar go rebuild? That's, mm. that's not his job. He, he's bringing... You bring in a superstar so that you, he takes you over the top. 
so that he, now you start winning games and you start winning championships. You don't bring a superstar to rebuild. So Two things is value. If you're, if you're saying we're going for value, you're either going for young guys, uh, youngsters, uh, which they've already started, but uh, that's not that's long, long term. Mm. Or, or you're going, if you're saying if the value is not a youngster, then it's a player who's not in the top bracket. And Man United need players that are in the top bracket. Uh, the other side of the coin is there's never been a time, never been a worse time to buy players and talk about value because there mm. is no value in the transfer market any anymore. Mm. Everyone is overvalued. Mm. I mean, it's just gone, it's gone crazy. So, right? You know, the only way you could talk about a little bit of value is the younger guys. When you're talking about top players, everyone is overvalued. If, I don't think there's if, anything long-term about mm. Manchester United. I don't think they can afford to be long-term. It's not that sort of club. And mm. there isn't that sort of patience. And it's not built for that. Mm. This whole idea of long-term, I don't think it makes sense because Manchester United, it's not realistic for them to be long-term. And Ali said, if you're, if you're fighting with Man City and Liverpool, you've got no chance. Well, guess what? Bayern Munich, Barcelona and Real Madrid are all looking for players as well. Yeah. Good mm. luck.